Oh, Hector! No! Oh, uh, hey, everyone. What is up? Uh, you know who this is. Chimbathy. I almost spelled it out today, but I didn't feel like doing that, so I won't, okay? Don't make it an issue! Um, in today's video, I'm just gonna give you a little quick tips on how you can enjoy... Uh, Infinite Warfare a little more than you currently are probably I don't know uh, See like when I play this game as much as Much as there is to like rag on and really hate about it. I Still find myself playing it for like hours on end when I do play it and like okay I have probably like <laughs> How many times is it gonna say like in one sentence? Well, the counter on the side of the screen will tell you that it is five. Um, we are busy finding new stuff. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say is I have around four or five games that I play like, there's the fifth one regularly. So I just inter swap them. Really, they're all in two cases. That doesn't make sense. But it does. I have my Overwatch case, my Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and my Battlefield 1 case, and I just switch. It's always a mystery to me which game is in which one. But what I'm trying to say here is I still find myself playing Infinite Warfare for a few hours on end. Thank you, dog. Please bark some more. Okay. And that's not to say that I really love this game. No, there are parts I fucking hate about it, but I'm still finding myself playing it So I guess I don't hate it that much. I mean if I really really hated it It would be on the shelf like I did with ghosts That shit just I I did not enjoy it at all this game I think I found a way for you guys to enjoy it a little more than you you probably were used to um, Wow, it sounds like there's a helicopter outside Oh my god. Oh my god! Whoa, they're landing! Oh my god! Hector! 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 Hector, flush it all away! Flush it all away, they're landing! Anyway. Anyway. Um, what I found really made me sort of like this game a little more was the fact that if you go into hardcore mode what happens in hardcore mode is what I refer to as it being the great equalizer and that is to say um, the time to kill issue that we face where there's a lot of people say it's very fast and it is it is exceedingly fast but hardcore mode makes it even faster and you're like why would that be better well I'll explain it to you as this in regular current core multiplayer when you're playing your game what happens is you can fire say a whole clip maybe four or five bullets into someone and they can fire me one or two into you and kill you now excluding sniper rifles which can do one shot kills anyway this seems to happen a lot more in core multiplayer and it's one of the biggest complaints that I've seen um, recurring across reddit across YouTube a lot of people have had problems with this people DM me and they're like the time to kill is all fucked up and it is it is fucked up for a core multiplayer um, there, there's no debating this I see a lot of people saying oh no, no, it's a good hit detection well if it's so good how come my four bullets didn't kill that guy because this game makes no fucking sense <laughs> but but when we factor in hardcore as a viable option the game became much more playable because now all of a sudden instead of this issue that we've been facing before and this is a similar issue that was problematic in call of duty ghosts where you would fire into someone multiple times and then they would kill you and according to at least from other youtubers i don't know how legitimate they are in their research they don't seem too scientific but it was the kill cam that showed what was really happening but what you were seeing on screen wasn't, which makes no fucking sense to me. However, I know that this is the issue that has been plaguing both Ghosts and Infinite Warfare. And when I mean Hardcore is the great equalizer, I mean what it does is it removes this issue almost completely. And I know that the time to kill we were talking about was pretty fast in Core, and it's much faster in Ghosts, I mean Hardcore. And, and you're like, why is this, it's better, how is this better? Well. Because instead of the bullets taking, say, like how we said, the problem was you'd shoot four, that your enemy would shoot two, and you'd be dead. 
and your four seemed to hit, but they didn't do any damage. Now, and I say great equalizer because one bullet is essentially one kill. You only need to hit it once, hit the enemy opponent once to kill them. Any gun across the board, basically, um, maybe it's one to two hits. It's still not a lot, but what it does is since everyone has lower health, or I mean rather the bullets do more damage, that you can actually stand a chance in most gun battles as long as you're the first to pull the trigger or you can actually land your shot correctly. What this means is the game essentially becomes a lot more playable because this issue where you are shooting four bullets into someone and they shoot one into you suddenly disappears. It's no longer a factor in the game because everyone can die as easily as quick. And I find that to be more fair and more fun of an option to play. Like I find myself only playing hardcore mode now as opposed to playing the core game types. That's not to say if you're going up against a team in hardcore, you're going to get fucked. You will get fucked in the worst way. I'm talking prison style, not fun for anyone. What happens is like if, if you're playing against a team, they can just like, well, there's a lot of camping in this game, which is also a problem that's not getting fixed in hardcore mode any fucking time soon. But what happens if you're going up against a team is they'll just run like all the assault rifle classes start jumping around and they just have to laser scope you once. So it's a lot more problematic if you're going up against a team. But if you're going up against a whole random lobby, you'll probably do okay. You'll, you'll probably do okay. And this to me makes the game a lot more playable, at least more playable than it should be. Um, I core mode. I don't know if I could go back to it, and that's not to say that I love this game, but I do find myself playing it for hours. Like I said in the beginning, and I preface this whole video, I, I don't hate it as much in hardcore mode as I do in regular core mode. There's still things that need to be fixed, obviously, um, some of the map designs, but it plays a lot faster in hardcore mode, which I think, and with removing that whole issue of the bullet timing the bullet time to kill issue and the bullets affecting hitting players and not registering this seems to be a more fair option that'll make it more fun for you guys and it's just a little tip i know a lot of you guys don't play hardcore mode but this might help you guys out if you guys are, are going to give the game another chance uh i don't i don't blame you if you don't that's cool there's lots of other games out there and i have lots of other games to play that being said i did say yesterday we were going to do a giveaway and um there will be more information. Whoa! They're breaking in, Hector! There will be more information uh, coming to that, coming to light on that very soon. I have the prize already available, so I know a lot of YouTube giveaways are just not legit. Uh, when I do announce what it is, I'm going to do a video showing you the prize so you guys know what you guys are up against to win. And it's going to be, uh, it's a fairly expensive prize, so I'm going to do a long form con contest. I almost said concert. But, uh, yeah, that's it. So this is just a little piece of shit video for your shitty little Monday. Oh, wait, no, it's Thanksgiving. Have, happy Thanksgiving. Bye.